So today I'm going to start working on a whistle for the recall for Dolce. So his mom and dad have been using his name to call him back. But because of my voice is high pitched, um, he's not listening to the lower tones of a male voice right now. Um, but he's listening to a higher tone voice, which is what mine sounds like when I train it. So what we're going to do, because his dad is having a hard time getting him back when he calls him. Actually, he's just not recognizing it. So the different tonal sounds of your voice make the words sound different. So, um, and that's why when you're mad, if you use a different tone, your dog is like, well, I don't know what that means. So you have to use your normal calm voice. It's nice to try and keep it as consistent as you can. Um, so we're just putting a whistle on it so that it sounds a little more similar. I usually just use uh, a whistle that starts low and goes high. Uh, at least she's on a whistle, so you'll see when I whistle she comes running back. Um, but what I'm going to do is whistle and then call his name. So if you repeat that sequence, the whistle will be the first thing he responds to. So you do the one, you're changing a signal. You do the new signal and then the old signal. And then you just start doing the new signal and adding a gap before you do the old signal. So the dog will start responding to the first one. It's the fastest way to get the, the goodie. And then you just start dropping the old signal. So let's wait till he's a little distracted there. Not too far away and too distracted because I still want him to be successful. Dolce! Yeah! Yeah! Good boy! Good job! Everybody's in? Good dog! Good girl. So I toss the ball for her when I whistle because it's her emergency recall. That's when I want her to... Good boy. When I want her to come back when there's deer, I whistle. <laughs> and I always throw the ball to her because it's her favorite reward. 